Dear students, welcome to S. Math Guru classes. So, our main discussion is linear equation of second order with constant coefficient. If right hand side algebraic, right hand side is exponential, right hand side exponential uh, algebraic. If mix up, how to find, how to solve this type of problem? Uh, last video, some problems done. Now we consider if algebraic exponential trigonometry three are mix up, how to solve this type of problem? Now let us consider this problem. Solve d square y dx square minus 2 dy dx plus y equal to x e to the power x sin x. This problem you have to solve. So first you have to find complementary function. So this can be written as d square minus twice d plus 1 into y and right hand side x e to the power x sin x this so auxiliary equation equal to m square minus twice m plus 1 equal to 0 and this equal to m minus 1 whole square equal to 0 and this equal to m equal to 1 m equal to 1 we get this is our roots m equal to 1 m equal to 1 therefore complementary function equal to roots are equal c1 c2x e to the power 1x or simply we write x these are complementary function now particular integral particular integral equal to right hand side x e to the power x sin x this is d square minus twice d plus 1 this or particular integral right hand side by this now taking this one outside if we taking e to the power x outside then x sin x we get and the coefficient of x is 1 e to the power x coefficient of x 1 then we putting d equal to d plus 1 d equal to d plus 1 e putting just replacing d and putting d plus 1 because coefficient of x is 1 e to the power x 1 then we write this and this will be e to the power x remains same x into sin x same this is a plus b whole square a square plus twice a b plus b square minus twice d minus 2 plus 1. So, this will be e to the power x and 2d 2d cancel 1 1 2 minus 2 cancel then ultimately we get d square 1 by d square x uh, sin x we get this one d square we get the denominator and x sin x now d square we can write 1 by d into 1 by d this is x sin x we get this so 1 by d means integration this remains same and this 1 by d means integration integration x sin x dx this is product of two function product of two function using bipart's formula i recall the bipart's formula bipart's formula integration fx into gx dx this is fx integration gx dx minus integration the dx of fx integration gx dx into dx this are by parts formula we know from lower class product of two functions sometimes it is like u into v or i have written this is fx into dx first function integration second minus integration ddx of first function integration second dx dx so here we consider this is first function this second function uh, here we have algebraic and trigonometry but we know the condition i let i let 
here algebraic trigonometry algebraic first trigonometry second so we consider this is first function this is second function using this bipods formula we get e to the power x this is remains same 1 by d also remains same fx mean x integration sin x dx minus integration d dx of x integration sin x dx into dx this one e to the power x 1 by d this is x integration sin x means minus cos x d dx of x is 1 this is minus cos x this dx we get this again 1 by d means integration e to the power x integration minus x cos x minus minus plus integration cos x means sin x so we get this one again integrating by parts this one by parts this one direct integration e to the power x remains same and minus x cos x dx integration sin x dx we get this one so this is e to the power x remains same again using bipers formula here so in bipers formula first function x integration cos x dx minus integration d dx of x integration cos x dx into dx and uh, again we write another bracket this for this we write another bracket and this is in bracket and this one for this we write this and integration sin x means minus cos x we get this one so this will be e to the power x remains same minus x integration cos x means sin x this minus this minus plus the dx of x is 1 integration cos x means sin x dx minus cos x and this is e to the power x minus x sin x integration sin x means minus cos x this is cos x we get this one so this will be e to the power x minus x sin x minus 2 cos x we get this one and taking minus sign common e to the power x x into sin x plus 2 cos x we get this is the particular integral minus e to the power x x sin x plus 2 cos x therefore general solution general solution is y equal to cf complementary function plus particular integral and this implies y equal to cf means this one c1 plus c2 c1 plus c2x e to the power x plus this is minus plus minus minus e to the power x x sin x plus 2 cos x and this is our final answer so final answer is y equal to c1 plus c2 x e to the power x minus e to the power x x sin x plus 2 cos x this is the answer very easy solution very easy. another problem this also same type of problem and this one also important d square minus 40 plus 4 into y equal to 8x square e to the power 26 sin 26 so this is the problem 
Now we want to solve this problem. First we find auxiliary equation. This is m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0. m minus 2 whole square equal to 0. And m equal to 2, m equal to 2. Therefore, complementary function equal to c1 plus c2x equal to power twice x because roots are equal. Next, we find particular integral. Particular integral means right hand side, right hand side by d square minus 4d plus 4 this one this can be written as 8x square e to the power twice x sine twice x by d minus 2 whole square this now here we have exponential as the big denominator we taking exponential outside if we taking exponential outside then we get here x square into sine twice x. We get this. But when you taking exponential outside, what is the coefficient of x? Coefficient of x is 2. In place of d, we put in d plus 2. d equal to putting d plus 2. Because coefficient of x is 2, putting d equal to d plus 2. This 2 to cancel, we get d square. So what we get? We get 8 e to the power twice x. This is x square sine twice x by d square. We get this one. Now, this can be written as 8 e to the power twice x and d square means 1 by d, 1 by d and x is square sine twice x, we get this. And 1 by d, this is remains same and this one 1 by d means integration. x square sine twice x dx. Again using Bipart's formula, 8 e to the power twice x remains same. Using Bipart's formula, first function integration second minus integration ddx of first function integration second dx into dx we get this 8 e to the power twice x 1 by d x square sine mx means minus cos mx by m m means 2 and here the dx of x square means twice x and this is minus cos twice x by 2 dx we get this this 2 2 cancel 8 e to the power twice x 1 by d minus x square cos twice x by 2 minus minus plus x cos twice x dx we get this and this is 8 e to the power 2x 1 by d minus x square 1 by 2 x square cos twice x again using bypass formula x integration cos twice x minus integration ddx of x integration cos twice x dx into dx this 8 e to the power twice x 1 by d minus 1 by 2 x square cos twice x plus x cos twice x means sine twice x by 2 
dx of x is 1 sin twice x by 2 dx. We get this. Now this one 8 t to the power twice x. This d means integration and minus 1 by 2 x square cos twice x plus x 1 by 2 x sin twice x minus 1 by 2 integration cos uh, sin twice x means minus cos twice x by 2 and for this integration we write dx. So this implies 8 e to the power uh, twice x integration 1 by 2 x square cos twice x 1 by 2 x sin twice x 1 by 4 cos twice x into dx. We get this. So, again using Vipers formula or taking half common and this 8 cancel. Then we get 4 e to the power twice x minus x square cos twice x dx half common cancel x sin twice x dx and this is 1 by 2 cos twice x dx. We get this. Just taking half common and cancel this and this one and this are remains same. So, 4 e to the power twice x minus again using bypass formula first function integration cos twice x dx minus integration d dx of x square integration cos twice x dx into dx this one and here also using bypass formula x integration sin twice x dx minus integration d dx of x sin twice x dx into dx we get this one and the last one this is 1 by 2 sin twice x by 2 we get this so this is 4 e to the power twice x minus x square cos mx means sin mx by m this minus this minus plus this is twice x ddx of x square is twice x and this is sin twice x by 2 dx x minus cos twice x by 2 minus 1 minus cos twice x by 2 integration sin mx means minus cos mx by m and this is 1 by 4 sin twice x we get this so this equal to Four e to the power twice x minus x square sine twice x by two. This two two cancel again using bypass formula. X integration sine twice x dx minus integration d dx of x integration sine twice x dx into dx we get this and this is minus 1 by 2 x cos twice x and this one 1 by 2 
minus minus plus and cos twice x means sin twice x by 2 this is 1 by 4 sin twice x we get this one so this implies 4 e to the power twice x minus x square sine twice x by 2 and this is x sin mx means minus cos mx by m and this will be minus 1 minus cos twice x by 2 this dx minus 1 by 2 x cos twice x and 1 by 4 1 by 4 this is 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 means 1 by 2 sin twice x we get this and this is 4 e to the power twice x minus x square sin twice x by 2 minus x cos twice x by 2 plus cos mx means sin mx by m 1 by 2 x cos twice x 1 by 2 sin twice x we get this one so this will be 4 e to the power twice x and this is x square x square by 2 sin twice x and this is 1 by 4 sin twice x this is 1 by 2 1 by 2 this is x cos twice x plus 1 by 2 sin twice x we get this so if we simplify this and and multiplying by 4 minus x square 2x square sin twice x plus sin twice x minus 4x cos twice x 2 sin twice x if you multiply by 4 we get this one so this will be e to the power twice x and this is minus 2x square and uh, sin twice x and this and this plus 3 sin twice x minus 4x cos twice x and this is e to the power twice x taking minus sign common 2x square minus 3 sin twice x minus 4x cos twice x if we taking minus sign common outside then e to the power twice x then we get then we get minus sign common then we get uh, 2 2x square minus 3 sin twice x plus 4x cos twice x this is our particular integral therefore general solution is y equal to cf plus pi y equal to cf means c1 plus c2 x e to the power twice x plus pi pi means this 
so plus minus minus e to the power twice x 2x square minus 3 sin twice x plus 4x cos twice x this is our answer so answer is this one this is the final answer so these are very easy very interesting so i hope you are enjoying with me if you are enjoying then please share this video to other friends also these are important for any engineering courses and bhc maths major also so today i will to stop here thank you